Hi everyone, this is Manas, your friend and tutor. And guys, we'll pick up one more problem on level 3, that is the application of line projection. And here we go. So what we have here is a room whose dimensions have been given to us. So this block can be assumed as a room 6 by 5 by 3.5. So this is 6 meters, this breadth is 5 meters and this height, well, we've got to take it as 3.5 meters, right? And there is an electric bracket onto which we need to fit a bulb, okay, um, is along the center of the longer wall. Just by observation, we can we can really work out that this is this is the longer wall, isn't it? Let me just write over here longer wall, and this longer wall is at the back, and there is going to be a similar similar longer wall rather uh, at the at the front also. Let me just make this correction. Yeah, this is the longer wall at the front. Okay, so this was the longer wall at the back and somewhere along the center line we'll have a bracket. How much below? This is going to be one meter below. So precisely, if I can just write over here, here, this distance is nothing but one meters. And then here we need to fit in a bulb and uh, that bulb will be how much away? 0 0.3 meters away. So just, just, just follow this. This is going to be the location of the bulb. Okay, Okay, so that's the bulb which we are really interested in. Right, now from the top, from the top when you visualize this, it would appear as if this bulb is 0 0.3 meters away. This distance can only be seen from the top. From the front it would appear that the bulb is 1 meter below the ceiling, right at the center. But from the top when you see this bulb, it would appear that it is 0 0.3 meters in front of this back wall you can say. Right. Now the switch for the light for this bulb you can say is on an adjacent wall. So if this is the longer wall, wall into consideration, then the wall adjacent to this back wall, you can either take it as this one, you can either take it as this wall also. Right now I'll take this one. Okay, so let's let's just call this as the adjacent wall. Adjacent wall. Now what we do have is the switch somewhere along this wall. The exact location, well, let's, let's read this further, 1.5 meter above the flow. So guys, this, if I can extend this, this distance is 1.5 meters. Okay, so somewhere along this line, which is at a height of 1.5 meters, we'll have the switch. And 1 meter from the other longer wall. So this is the longer wall at the back, okay, and the other longer wall is this one, the one at the front, this one. So from this wall, the distance of the switch is 1 meter. So from here, you need to travel 1 meters. And this is precisely the location of the switch. So let me just write switch. And guys, this distance, if I can just mark it properly, this distance is how much? 1 meter from the other longer wall. So we've got all the dimensions. Okay. So the bulb uh, apparently is 1 meter below the HP. Uh, not below the HP, but below the ceiling, you can say. And the bulb is uh, 0 0.3 meter away from the wall, the back wall. Similarly, the switch is uh, 1 meter in front of the front wall, you can say. And the switch is at a height of 1.5 meters um, from the ground onto this adjacent wall. So let's, let's try to implement all of this stuff on an orthographic projection drawing. And let's try to work out the actual distance between this bulb and the switch. And we are going to refer to the bulb as B. And we're going to refer to the switch as S. And this is exactly the distance that we are really interested in. Okay, the distance between the bulb and the switch. So here we go. Let's draw an XY line. And this is the front view of the room. That is 6 by 3.5. This is 6 and this is 3.5. And when you see this from the top, this is 6 and this is how much? Well, that's 5 meters. So that's 6 and that's 5. Okay. So you need to locate a center, say here, this point corresponds to this point. And from the ceiling, the bracket is going to be how much below? It's going to be one meter below. So one meter below, and there you have it. The bulb, when you view it from the front, it would appear as if it's here, right here. Okay, that's the front view of the bulb, you can see, that's B dash. And guys, one more thing which I should have told you, the scale, I'm assuming the scale one meter is equal to one centimeter. 
so this is how much below 1 meter below on your drawing sheet this is going to be 1 centimeter below all this stuff 3.5 meters will be 3.5 centimeters similarly this 5 and 6 meters will be represented by lines of 5 centimeter and 6 centimeters respectively okay now let's try to make the top view of this bulb so somewhere along this same same projection line from the top you are going to see this okay you are going to see this 5 by 6 5 by 6 5 by 6 okay this is the roof you can say anyway from the top from the center line in front how much this distance is how much that is 0 0.3 so from here will go 0 0.3 meters okay that means on the drawing sheet it will be 0 0.3 centimeters or to be very specific it's 3 millimeters so that's it that's the top view of the bulb you can see in the same manner what we can do is we can locate the front and top view of the switch also and here it is <clears throat> this is the switch when you view this switch from the front it would appear as if it is somewhere along this line this line how high it is going to be 1.5 meter high that's 1.5 meter on your drawing sheet it's going to be 1.5 centimeters remember that secondly when you view this from the top from the top you're going to see this right see this you make a point over here corresponding to which this point is right here from this point it would appear as if the switch is how much away how much in front one meter in front so from here you need to go one meters that's one meters and that's the top view of the switch now let's connect the front views okay and let's connect the top views there you have it this line between the bulb and switch appears like this in the front and this line appears like this in the top now the stuff becomes extremely easy we need to work out the true distance the true length between the bulb and the switch okay so here we go take any view for the for that matter let's let's take into consideration the top view let's fix this s and let's rotate this b okay so with s as the center and with sb as the radius rotate it in the anti clockwise sense until it becomes absolutely parallel to this xy line so we've got the new position of b and that's a p1 right and similarly if i can just show you this this is old b and this is old b dash now b has changed its position to b1 so b1 dash will shift somewhere here and to know the precise location let me produce a line in the upper direction from b1 and here we go that's the exact location of point b1 dash and when you join b1 dash with this s dash you have the true length just do the measurement it would work out as 48 millimeters approximately yes it is possible that you get you may get an answer one one or two mm less or even greater than this one well this is a, a very accurate answer as i did this problem initially on autocad okay so 48 millimeters that means uh, 4.8 centimeters that means 4.8 meters and that's it that's the final answer <clears throat> so guys uh, that was all for today i'll see you again in the next video until then take care and have a nice day